Hey everyone, welcome to Book Creator. Today we're going to look at how we can use this amazing digital tool with students to create student digital portfolios for demonstration of learning. All right, so here I am at bookcreator.com and I'm going to sign in to my educator account. Normally it would prompt me to sign in and I could log in with Google. Uh, in my case, I would use my school email and password. All right, let's take a look at a sample portfolio that I've been putting together about myself and my ed tech journey. So I'm simply going to select my ed tech portfolio and it's going to take me to the cover of my portfolio. Now, I want you to notice some of the things that have been added to this cover. I have a background, I have images, I have text, and I have a picture. I'm gonna show you how to add all of these things to your own book creator book. Let's advance to the next page. Again, you see text, you see images. We'll keep going. I wanted to highlight this particular page because in addition to the text and images and background, I have embedded a Flipgrid response directly from Flipgrid. And finally, I continue on, I've also added in or attached a sample presentation that I've created in PowerPoint. If I were to click on this when I'm viewing the book, it would actually download the PowerPoint to my device and then I could open up from there to view. All right, let's continue on to a blank page so that I can show you how I added these elements and how you can add elements to a book. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the background. So I'm simply going to come up here to the plus. This plus is where we add our items. And here you can see that I can add media, shapes, and more. I want you to notice next to the plus, the I for inspector. If I click on the I, on this blank page, notice that I can change my background. So I could change it to a solid color. I could also click the plus here to actually change it to a color that I customize. If I know the hex code, I can enter that hex code and then click apply. And that's gonna change the color of my page. Let's just go back. I want you to notice that there are also uh, some different categories of backgrounds that we can add, like fun comics, different papers, borders, patterns, and different textures that we can add. I used this wood grain texture on the other pages of my book. Let's stick with this particular background. All right, now I'm going to go back to the plus and I can start adding my media. So a few things that I can do right away, I can add text. So in your student portfolio, you might encourage your students to type out a reflection of a sample of evidence or work that they upload or attach uh, or provide an image of. So they can simply click done and that can be moved anywhere on the page. If I double click on it, notice that I can highlight it and make it bold, italic or underline or even add a link. You can essentially add a link to any web-based content. All right, let's go ahead and click done. While I've selected this text, I'm just gonna click on that I again for the inspector. Notice that it has changed. It is no longer showing me the backgrounds. Now it's basically a text editor where I can adjust the size, I can adjust the color. Let's go with purple. I can change a I can add a background to the text box. Uh, I can turn on a shadow and I can always move it from front to back if I need to overlap it 
uh, on top of a picture. All right, let's go back to add an item. Now let's add images. So if I click images, notice that I can either search for an image or upload directly from my computer. I'm going to upload from my computer. And I have a sample of student work on the water cycle. So I'm gonna select that image. And again, I can resize that image and move it to where I want on the page. I can then move my text so that it's directly underneath. All right, let's go back to add an item. We're gonna come back to camera. I wanna show you the pen tool. The pen tool allows you to do some digital inking on this particular page of the book. Notice that you have a few different writing tools and it actually shows you what that ink would look like on your page. You can even control the size of your brush. This would be a great feature for students could self-assess their assignment and they could annotate their work right on the page. All right, let's click done. Let's go back to adding items. Underneath pen, we see text and we also have a record feature. If I click on the record feature, I can then click start recording and I could actually record audio. This is an example of my work that I created in a Word document about the water cycle. I can preview the recording and I can click use recording if I'm happy with it. It's gonna put a little speaker icon on the page. So this is a great option for students uh, because not only can they add text-based reflections or descriptions, they could also record audio-based reflections, descriptions, uh, or any other text that they would normally type, they could record as audio. Let's go back to add an item, and this time we will use the camera. So if I click on camera, it will launch my webcam, and notice that I could either take a picture or record a video, and that will get added to the page in my book. So let's go ahead and take a picture. And I can decide if I wanna delete the picture or use the picture. Let's go ahead and use it. And then of course I can add it anywhere on my page. All right, now that we've looked at the items under media, let's just quickly take a look at shapes. I just want you to notice that there are a wide variety of shapes you can pull from, including speech bubbles or thought bubbles, arrows, and other colorful shapes. And of course, if you add a shape and you select the shape, you can click on the eye for inspector and you can always change the color of that shape. All right, going back to the inspector one more time, I want to show you what's available under more options. If I click on more, I want you to see that I have actually added apps like Bitmoji, my Google Drive, and Canva. So I can create in Canva and bring that right onto the page, or I can bring content directly from my Google Drive or bring in a Bitmoji once I've logged into my Bitmoji account. But notice these two here, files and embed. I'm gonna show you really quickly how to uh, add a file. You're simply gonna click the files button and you will find a file that you are going to add. And once you've selected that file, just simply click insert and then you can move that file anywhere on the page. Remember that uh, when you view the book, the file, when you click on it, will download onto your device and then you can open it from there. All right, let's go back to the plus to add more. The next thing I wanna show you is embed. I'm simply going to click on embed and now I can embed from a YouTube video, a web page, a Google form, Flipgrid, so many things that I can pull the embed code from to add content to my page. Let's grab a Flipgrid video. All right, so I've gone ahead and logged into my Flipgrid account and I'm just going to share one of my videos. 
So I'm simply going to click on the video. Hello. We'll press pause and I'll click the share button to find the embed code. When I click this button, it will copy the embed code and now I can go back to book creator and I can simply paste my embed code here and click confirm. I can change the title of my video and when I'm ready, I simply click add and I can see that my Flipgrid video has been embedded on my page inside my book in book creator. All right, so we've gone through media, shapes, and more. I want you to notice that you can always click the plus add apps and you can find a variety of apps that can be added to book creator to supercharge your presentations or demonstration of learning. Let's just go back. All right, if I wanted to preview or read this book, I would simply click the play button here in the top right corner and notice that everything is interactive. So if I click on the recording, it this will play. I can click on the file. I can click to watch the embedded video. So I would simply click play. So All right. And then I can navigate through the book. Let's go back to edit. I want to show you one more thing. So I've shown you how to add content, but what about adding more pages? Well, to add another page, you're simply going to click the plus sign here in the far right. That's going to add a blank page with the same background that you previously used. Remember, you can change that background by coming to the inspector and selecting from a variety of backgrounds. All right, let's go back to my books. Remember that this is saving automatically. If you are ready to share your book, you're simply going to look for the share options button here at the bottom of your screen. When I click on it, notice that I can publish online, download as an ebook or select print. I'm going to say publish online. And now notice that I can adjust the title of my book, the author's name, give a short description. And then I have two specific uh, settings that I have to adjust for who can find this book. If your students are creating books as portfolios for demonstration of learning, I would highly recommend setting it to private so that their book can only be found with a private link. They can choose who they want to share the book with and they can unpublish at any time. With allow remixes, if it's the student sharing a book they've created, you might want to make sure that remixes is off so that others cannot download and edit a copy of their book. In this case, because I want my book uh, to serve as a template for my students to complete their portfolio, I'm going to turn remixes on. When I'm ready, I can go ahead and click publish online and I'll get a little announcement that my book has been published. To share this book with my teacher, I would simply click copy link and then I could share that link in Google Classroom or Microsoft Teams or share it with my teacher uh, via email. And of course, remember that you can stop publishing at any time. All right, thanks for checking out Book Creator with me as we create digital portfolios with our students for assessment of learning.